Hello YouTube, TJY Productions here, uh, doing another quick little layout update. Um, just thought I'd fill you in, I got home from Galesburg Railroad Days 2014 yesterday. And uh, I purchased some cool stuff, this was being my biggest purchase, this is ICE, uh, Iowa Chicago and Eastern 6418, the city of Chicago, as my camera goes out of focus. Beautiful SD40-2 built by Inner Mountain. Um, I believe this is DCC equipped, however, I'm still old school. Um, but I've been playing around with this and I love um, the way that it runs. You notice right now my throttle is at 50%, which just turns the headlights on and the number boards, which the number boards for the most part are always constantly on um, which is cool very prototypical um, however let me go over here so I can demonstrate this for you if you watch me rev this all the way up the locomotive will not respond right away it takes a second and slowly gets up to speed and even though this is um, an SD40-2 it does not run as fast as all my other DC locomotives um, which is kinda nice it actually takes its time even though it is at full throttle so that's one of my uh, probably my coolest purchase the headlights are surprisingly bright which is also really cool and um, it does slow down as the curves get tight but oh, I love it. Beautiful locomotive. And what are you doing? That's not happening. With you. Ah, plow got caught. Okay, thank you. Restart. Or not. Hmm. I have not had this problem before. Earlier today when I ran this, she ran perfectly fine and like a charm. Anyway, while she stopped, my next purchase was the coal load for this Burlington Northern Hopper, um, which was sent to me from KNC Productions out in the wonderful state of Oregon. Um, I had to remove the, um, the inner bracings, which would be in the car for this to work. Uh, the guy that makes these told me about that. It was a piece of cake. They just popped out. Uh, the coal car is a Walters 50 foot 50 foot coal gondola Burlington Northern it's pretty cool so that's pretty much my main purchases my other purchase is the 10 pieces of flex track back there um, I went with code 100 mostly for the fact that I think my trains will run better on it and because I need to start over Although I do like the the ties on the 83, I think that I will have better luck with Code 100. I'm not saying for sure, but you know it's worth a shot. But I want to start over. I want to get a foam board. When I get that, then I'm going to start going to work. Um, I'm thinking I want to wire everything. I have nothing wired except for my insulated pieces, um, which could have been done better. Um, I think I'm going to, instead of trying to wire to the side of the rail, I'm going to go under the rail, which will work a lot better everywhere. Um, and hopefully that will take care of a lot of issues in terms of connectivity and it will also probably make it a heck of a lot easier if I decide to do DCC. I'm thinking if I do anything I'm gonna go with the MRC uh, prod, prod, Prodigy, Prodigy, I don't know, that one just because it seems simple enough. I was looking at videos of it and I mean it seems like a piece of cake. I mean not a piece of cake but I think I can handle it. So, that's 
pretty much it. I bought a hat and was also given a Burlington Northern Santa Fe locomotive directory, which is current as of, I want to say, April of 2014. And it's currently June, so I mean, it's very recent. I had it down here somewhere. I don't know where I put it. Maybe I didn't bring it down, but whatever. That's that. This is my first uh, six axle standard cab locomotive and is just fabulous. So I love it. I think it's really cool. City of Chicago. I chose that one mostly because I've, I mean, Chicago, everyone knows where Chicago's at. The other ones were towns that I've never even heard of before. So I just figured, you know, why not? Layout's a mess, but hopefully I can get going to work. I need, I have 10 pieces of flex track. I believe flex track is four feet, so that's 40 feet worth of track. Um, which, as you can tell when it slows down on that outside curve, I got work to do. The headlights are directional, which is also really cool. If I mention that or not, I don't know. But I think Intermountain did a fantastic job um, with this locomotive. I already... The only problem that I have is something that I did that I need to fix. And the only other issue was one of the windows was not in place the, on the uh, conductor's side door. The window was out of place, but I took care of that with a little bit of glue, and it's all better now. So it was that one right there. The only other issue is the lower step there on the other side kind of un came undone when... Um, one of my relatives had this in the box and let it slip out of their hands. Otherwise, it's perfect. I got my fabulous glue right down there, so I'll take care of that. I did glue the horn into place. And I also had to re-glue some of these um, handrail supports, but other than that, Perfect. I am definitely glad I bought this locomotive. Um, absolutely gorgeous. This can come undone. I took this part off when I got it and was kind of disappointed to see all the wires because I didn't really want a DCC locomotive because, hello. Which, you know, oftentimes is another fifty or a hundred dollars that you don't need to spend but I'm not gonna lie this one was kinda worth it I am uh, glad that I went with this one the one I was looking for or what I was interested in purchasing was a Burlington Northern Santa Fe SD70 Ace and I changed I was I talked myself out of that one because it was like two hundred dollars without sound and another fifty dollars with sound and I said lol nope so I was Chicago and Eastern SD40-2 it was and I can't snap this into place there we go there's one side two sec come on there we go perfect very good looking locomotive Fall show. I love it. I like the uh, ICNE and DMNE as it is, but I think the SD42s top it off there. So, yeah, that's about it. Um, <clears throat> the only um, other thing that I have yet to do is work on my track. I kind of want to buy switches first, 
create myself a track plan when I get the foam board um, and I can use paper and cut it out in the shapes that I need so I can draw out my line I can use the um, um, snap track the, the this stuff and start with that so I have an idea of what I'm going with So, yeah. That's all I have for you guys today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will do another layout update when I start working on the rest of this. So, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to check out my other Galesburg videos. Um, I have four of them. Three of them were actually in Galesburg. One was kind of the kickoff to the weekend trip there. Um, so yeah, feel free to check this out and also find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Productions. And I will hope to see you there. Thanks a lot.